Middle-aged men, what were some things that happened to your body in your 20s that made you say, that's probably nothing, but it was not? Back injury while lifting some gear in the military. Actually a lifetime of debilitating pain and limitations. I thought I was finally getting that butterfly in your stomach feeling every once in a while. But it was just my heart deciding to be it how it wants. Not how it should. My right ball started hurting. Doctor told me it was probably from ibuprofen. Years later, after it never went away entirely and got a lot worse. I found out I had a hernia. I was probably the happiest hernia patient in the world. Because I had myself convinced it was something way worse. Her butthole started hurting at age 24. Figured it was just a stubborn hemorrhoid. Got worse over the course of a year. One day I took a garbage and had to go lay down for 20 minutes to recover from the pain. Decided to immediately go to urgent care after. Diagnosis perianal Crohn's disease. My friends always joke I'm in butt but now I'm a rotten butt. Take care of your back. You will not listen to this but you should. One day you will do something mundane in a slightly awkward position that shouldn't normally be any problem and it will feel like someone snuck up behind you and blasted you with a shotgun. I'm going to take your question literally. I realized a bunch of hair falling out. So I thought, this is it. I'm going bald. There's going to be probably nothing left. But it stopped. I have less hair now but I'm not bald. I'm, why the hell did I start reading this? I'm now convinced I have days left of my life. My insomnia got dramatically worse and periods of low energy became periods of no energy and numbness. I figured it was lack of sleep. After all, every so often I just stop feeling so garbage tea for ages, weeks, months sometimes, and get metric fluff tons of stuff done. So it wasn't like I was depressed or anything, was it? Well, no. A decade of misdiagnoses later. Turns out to be bipolar too. I'm finally getting slightly better with the help of mood stabilizers. But still very much not right. I started to forget minor things. Now seven years later I've written my will and am preparing for the worst. Served in the army during Iraq. Patrolled with a high-powered jamming radio antenna next to my head. The warning label said to stay clear but the army was like sure. Install it next to the gunner's head. Seemed like that's probably nothing. Hell. In perspective we were issued asbestos gloves to change hot gun barrels that fired too many. Depleted uranium rounds. What's a radio gonna do to me? Well, years go by. A VA doctor finds an extremely rare skull tumor the size of a ping pong ball growing right where the warning label sat. Well, I wasn't really symptomatic. But I wish I could tell 20-year-old me to stop eating like garbage because 42-year-old me has high cholesterol and diabetes. I got this. Was 23 when I noticed a mole on the shoulder. Much bigger and odd looking than I previously remembered. I looked a photo from 6 months earlier when I was at the beach. And had my shirt off. In the photo it was barely noticeable. But 6 months later it was the size of an eraser head and hash x200b went to the dermatologist who immediately did a biopsy and hash x200b malignant melanoma 23 a young person's disease carrying 80 pounds of photo gear in my rucksack was shooting from one knee when i went to stand my knee did something that felt vaguely like somebody breaking celery in half i was so amped up i didn't feel any pain figured ah it's nothing, narrator. It wasn't nothing. But ITT. Look after your back, your knees, your lungs and your skin. Eat less crap. Do more exercise. Sleep regularly. Or, you know, lie fast. Die young and leave a fluffed up corpse. Your call. The little belly bump. Now I can't see my slung without a mirror. I'm not even 30. But that totally normal back pain turned out to be a herniated disc pressing on the nerves in my spine, which spread to my leg eventually. Now I need surgery, and I've been in pain for months, and unable to work. Not a middle-aged man. 
but since my brother is no longer here with us to speak for himself, I'm going to say it. That chronic lower back pain in his 20s was not a sports injury. It was testicular cancer. It's a young guy disease. Check yourself regularly, gentlemen. I was often so tired that I would fall asleep standing up in the shower, etc. Over a decade later I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Why the fluff did I read this? Now I have cancer. I did professional marching band in my teens and early 20s. 10 years of dedicating 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, from May to August. Practicing difficult and highly athletic shows on football fields. Very aerobic activity. It made me tan. Fit and ripped with less than 9% body fat. I was a bronzed god, thing is. We didn't know enough to worry about being in the sun for that long so consistently at that young. An age without sunscreen. Cut to 10 years later. And two strange freckles appeared on my forehead and one on my shoulder. You do not know terror till your family doctor calls you after business hours to tell you it is important that he see you the very next day as his first appointment and that he's already made the appointment for you with his office staff and that it would be best if you two spoke in person instead of on the phone no i did not sleep at all that night not one single wink edit you've got a beautiful soul reddit thank you for everyone's kind words but more so for sharing your own and your family's struggles with melanoma stay strong and yes, shout out to DCINR, drum corps for those that knew what I meant when I said, pro marching band. In my late 20s I went through a time when I had to use the restroom more often than what I thought was usual, when we would go to unfamiliar places, long car rides, etc. I would have to stop at every rest stop to pee. Regardless of how much time has passed, I have anxiety, diagnosed and drink coffee and alcohol so I had partly chalked it up to those and would just try to talk myself out of the anxiety part. When I was 29 I finally opened up to my PCP about what was going on. He ran some tests and found I had low-grade BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, something quite common in men over 50, but not in their early 30s. My doctor's take was that it was really early for this to be happening, but not unheard of. He put me on anxiety meds and told me to minimize or cut out both alcohol and caffeine. He said that the drugs that you see advertised on TV and such for men with prostate issues are taken for life to manage, and he didn't want me to start a lifetime plan so young. Now when I have things to do that require trips, business conferences, vacations, etc. I change what I consume for days prior in order to manage. In retrospect, I appreciate being forced to recognize what was happening because with so many medical things, people find out too late to make meaningful changes. Kidney pain. Don't ignore it. It can turn into kidney stones. They can easily dealt with when they're small. I had a little bump on my cheek that didn't go away. Not a mole. It was normal flesh-toned. Dermatologists always talk about discoloration and such. So I just ignored it. Like 10 years later the thing would just start bleeding for no reason. Which concerned me enough that I finally went to a dermatologist just to get it checked out. Turned out to be cancer. I had to have a good bit of tissue removed from my cheek and a plastic surgeon did the closure so there would be less of a scar. If you have a weird skin thing, get it checked out. A little while ago I had a little bump right above my crack. Thought nothing of it. It got bigger and started to hurt. Turns out it was a sinus pilonidalis. Pretty nasty. Google at own risk. Don't be young and foolish with your ears. Use noise protection. There is no shame in using your plugs at auto races, concerts, when using loud work equipment, etc migraines never had them before ended up being a tumor listen to your body and knee problems grew up playing every sport under the sun basically i think it was being a goalie hockey that did me in though 
Either re-strengthen your knees or just take it easy on them or you'll end up doing some darnage. A lot of people tend to go from active to sedentary at some point in their 20s. Once you do that you can't just pick up where you left off. Unfortunately, 